Okay, we are here with a sales and marketing representative of Kenya Breweries, uh, Mombasa, uh, Mr. Daniel Oswagu. Can you tell us how the Drift with Servants has been for you, Tasca, as a brand? It's been good. The turnout has been really good. Uh, we've got many more people than we expected. And uh, it's good to see that the flagship brand that is Tasca is being uh, drunk by most of the people here. Yeah, yeah. Of course, above 18, that's what we strive for. Yeah. But uh, it's all in all, it's all thumbs up so far. Okay. Yeah. And uh, your partnership with rugby over the years has grown. Uh, is there anything that you guys uh, are thinking in future in terms of building also rugby and your brand uh, concurrently? So uh, what I can speak to is the, the flagship brand that we are going with to support rugby is Tasca, as you've seen throughout the whole seven circuit. Uh, the first tournament, which is Driftwood, usually kicks off the whole seven circuit. And uh, as you can see, this is basically what we are focusing on, just to get people here and to enjoy themselves and to remember that Tasca should be top of mind. Yeah, it should be the brand to go for, the whole Tasca family. That's it. Either Tasca, Tasca Light, Tasca Malt, whichever is it tickles your fancy. Yeah. And uh, can you tell what will be your message maybe to other brands who are fearing that uh, rugby is in so much as of a sport that uh, you should invest? Because you say that the numbers are here, the eyeballs are, are here. So what will you? What will be your message for other brands now that you are you you are top of mind? Oh, in, in this category and giving your uh, members or your followers what they need in terms of Tasca as a brand? So for, for, for Tasca, for breweries, I think what I would say, because I started as a rugby player, yeah, I used yeah. to play for Impala rugby, yeah, yeah. shout out Impala. Um, they're young, these are young kids who are really trying to do their own thing. And the more sponsors we get, the better. The better. I'm, I'm happy to say that Sport Pest has really come out strongly, uh -huh. and Meningai Oil has come out strongly, uh -huh. and Tasca Breweries has come out strongly. Okay. So the more sponsors we get, the better the chance we can give these young guys yeah. an opportunity to do what they're, uh, they're good at. Yeah. Yes. So I would encourage as many sponsors as possible. Yeah. Let's just jump in, make this our thing, make yeah. this the... Give these young guys an opportunity to grow yeah, and, yeah. Do and do their best and in uh, because of that we can get you can as you can see the crowds they show that uh, yeah. we do have an opportunity here yeah, yeah. we can really grow from the crowd we currently have to a bigger crowd yeah, bigger, bigger crowd. stadiums mm -hmm. bigger venues okay so as many sponsors as we can get I say let's go for it okay outside uh, sponsorship uh, let's talk about uh, you said you are Impala player yes. Uh, do you think uh, Impala have anything to offer on day two? Now that uh, you just, I've seen just right now you just peeped KCB uh, day two. Is Mombasa for you guys or what do you think the tournament will be? So, my opinion might be biased, but I think Impala is taking everything. You think Impala I think we are going to win everything because the level of training I've seen the young guys do yeah, yeah. is to a point that I've not witnessed before. Yeah, yeah. And it is clearly seen on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. Young guys who I've seen come from Form 1 are now in the starting team. Yeah. There's a succession line that yeah. you can see. Yeah. And as a former rugby player, okay, I still play rugby, but yeah. as a former rugby player, yeah. I'm really proud of my guys. Yeah. It's very good to see that. Yeah. The succession plan is there. Yeah. Guys are putting their best foot forward. Yeah. I think it's all skies up to from here. Yeah. yeah, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. However, they they will do better. They'll they do. Too. Better. They'll do even better. They've considered one try. I'm hoping tomorrow they don't even concede one. You just win everything. Yeah. Yes. You're crossing your fingers. I'm I'm more than crossing my fingers. <laughs> I'm actually I'm feeling confident that we won't even concede one. Okay. okay. Yes. And do you think uh, in future the way that we have Task FC uh, as in football that maybe you guys by one day. Uh, consider sponsoring a rugby club. May it, there be a dream like that or can it really come to fruition? I think uh, 
that's something that uh, is probably in the works. I cannot confirm that. Yeah. But the way we look at it is we are trying to grow the whole sport, not yeah. just rugby, the whole sports fraternity. Yeah, yeah. Not just rugby. As you've seen, we are supporting rugby. Yeah. We supported uh, uh, Diego when he was going for the Olympics. Yeah. We're supporting his uh, football, yeah. Tasca Sports. Okay. So we are going. We are going for the whole bucket of sports because yeah. sports is one of the things that really can grow this nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And if we are at the forefront, yeah. as we should be, yeah, yeah. then everything else will follow in suit. Yeah. So if there is a, there, there are plans for supporting a specific club, yeah, yeah. then uh, we'll let you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Josh uh, Daniel Osago, thanks for talking with us. Uh, cheers. Eh? Thank you. Okay. Right. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to you, Bana. Cheers. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> nice.